All praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rukha Kadash, or Rukha HaKadash. Um, Yahweh's name, the Heavenly Father, it means He is. Yahweh Shai's name of His Son, it means He is who saves. Rukha Kadash, or Rukha HaKadash, is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. For the Lord will have, this is Isaiah 14. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And will yet choose Israel. That means even after all the badness that Israel's done, even after all the mistakes, even after the far, the, how far they defile themselves, in the end, the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will choose Israel. And that was set up from the beginning somewhere around Genesis 26, 25, 27. And will set them in their own land and the stranger shall be joined unto them. I mean, say joined, twine, that's kind of united, um, and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. Cleave means to stick to or basically side with, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives, whose captives all were. So who were the captives? Well, Israelites were the captives. But when we're talking about Israelites now, we're not talking about oh, black people taking white people captives, it's going to be Israelites take, most likely taking other bloodlines captive. And you can't tell what the bloodline is from the skin colour, from the race, from the nationality. So, uh, well, from the skin colour or the race. The nationality is the bloodline. So um, there's going to be a whole heap of... Well, in the end, Israel will be revealed. Uh, and people shall take them wherever in the land of the servants and handmaids, and they shall make them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors, and it shall come to pass, so they shall rule over the people that oppressed them in the past, and it shall come to pass in, the lat in that day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage when thou was made to serve. And although we are not necessarily at the moment serving hard physical labour, we're serving hard financial labour, we're serving, we you know, these adhesion contracts or what people might know as um, financial slavery. Um, and if you don't think you're a slave, um, try staying in bed for as long as you like next week without telling your boss. That thou shalt take up the proverb against the king of ba Babylon and say, how have the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. So who's Babylon now? We talked about this before Babylon. There's been a few Babylons. There's ancient Babylon and then there's sort of the new Babylon. Or modern Babylon. Which is America. But also the Western countries. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked. So the staff is what you use to... Um, the staff, the branch, rod. The staff is what you use to rule or exert authority on over you know like um and the scepter of the rulers the scepter being the um the scepter was a a ornament or something or some kind of a bit like a crown that shows rulership doesn't really have an I, as i understand it it was a kind of a globe shape let me see it's, um, it's globe shaped ornament that rulers used to carry in their hand to show that they're the ruler a little bit like how a Native American Indian might have feathers to show that he's a chief or or a bear claw or how um, some African kings, they have this kind of, or chiefs, they have this kind of uh, horsehair fly swatted thing. It's the same thing. He who smote the people, so he, the Lord's going to break that, meaning they're going to be revealed to be not, not the people that, you know, there's going to be, they're not going to show, be able to convince other people that um, they have the right to rule. The Lord hath broken staff of the wicked and the sceptre of the ruins. He who smote the people. And that's really interesting because there's a thing called the, I think on the, on the throne of um, Queen Elizabeth, it's set on the stone of David. Let me just have a quick look for that. 
So this is the coronation chair. Known historically as St. Edward's Chair or King Edward's Chair is an ancient wooden chair in which British monarchs sit when they're invested with regalia and crowned with their coronations. It's commissioned in 1926. But it's also... Um, to, it was commissioned in 1296 by King Edward I to contain the coronation stone of Scotland, known as the Stone of Destiny, which had been captured by the Scots. So if we go into the Stone of Destiny... Uh, it's also known it's also the stone of scone the stone of destiny is also referred to in england's the coronation stone as an oblong block of red sandstone has been used for centuries for the coronation of monarchs of scotland it's also known as jacob's pillar and the tannis stone um basically they ble- they basically think that this stone basically I can't get the story now but they basically think that the, the stone is comes from the line of David and it's proof that they have the right to rule and that it will never be broken and when it's broken they will no longer have the right to rule um, and they set all the all the all of the um, all of the thrones upon it and all the coronations on it however the stone of destiny or the stone of what they call the stone of david has indeed got a crack in it but they're not trying to tell anybody about that but we'll get into that later let's go back to the scriptures because that's just junk i mean like you can obviously tell it's a fake stone you know that jacob never rested his head on that pillar it's just junk just uh, their fake scepter which the lord's going to break he who smote the people in the wrath of, with a continual stroke, who's doing that? He that ruled, ruleth the nations in anger, who sets up wars and, and cajoles nations into uh, to do what they want with threat of military force, is persecuted and none hindereth. So none's going to stop. Who's going to say, when the bully gets beat up at school, who steps in to save the bully? Nobody's going to in, step in to save Esau, man. Um, the whole world is at rest and is quiet. They break forth into the singing. So now Isaiah is looking at what it will look like, a bit like um, Thanos when he's like looking forward into the future and to see what, what his, how he sees the future being. Yea, the first trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars of Lebanon. And that reminds me of a scripture that says, "When the you know wicked in authority, the people mourn, and when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice." So right now, um, this is what's happened, and and the whole earth is at rest, and the, even the fir trees are singing, and the cedars of Lebanon. The fir trees rejoice, and the cedars of Lebanon. I think that's probably a metaphor for something. So I'll have to look into that. Let's see. Okay, so it's just your homeland, the cedars of Lebanon and the roots. You see the roots from the tenacity, since he of its roots, a cedar tree known. So that a cedar tree has roots that go deep. And uh, Lebanon, so the, the roots of Lebanon, or the home of uh, the Israelites, saying, since thou art laid down, no fellow has come against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirreth up the dead for thee, even all the chiefs of the earth. It has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. So hell be in the grave. Um, it says the grave is the grave. The grave has moved itself to you know in order to try and help you to meet thee at thy coming. From the thrones of all the kings of the nations, all they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou become as weak as thee? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave. All right, so since thou hast laid down, so they're talking, they're talking, so this is the nations and the earth and people talking to Esau or talking to the person who's been fooled. 
since um, felled, since thou art laid down, no fella has come against us. So since Esau got kicked out, nobody, no, is there's no oppression. Nobody's coming to try and chop off, chop, chop us up. You know, it's still going on with this tree metaphor. Um, since thou art laid down, no one. No one's come against us. How from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. So the grave is is moving towards you. It's not just oh you're trying to dodge you know you're trying to dodge death because death is there. But the grave is actually trying to get you as well. And it's like everything's trying to get you. Uh, it stirred up the dead for thee. Even the chief ones of the earth it has raised up from the thrones all the kings of the nations. So it's that's like it's it you know everything's against you. All the different kings are coming to get you now. All in, and you can see that right now, right? With America and um, they they're getting heat from China. They're getting heat from Russia. They're getting heat from the. They soon will get heat from the EU. Even in fact, because of their policy on oil, they're getting heat from Saudi Arabia. They don't like them. You know they start. Saudi Arabia uh, has has applied to join BRICS, getting heat from everywhere because it's the end. Um, all the kings of the nations have moved from their thrones to get you. Uh, verse ten. No, let me say that right. It hath raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, Art thou become weak as thee? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials. The worm and the worm is um, decay and corruption is spread under the tree, and the worms cover thee. How thou art fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. We're not talking about the devil, and we're not talking about the celestial. We're talking about um, Esau, basically. Lucifer being light bearer, the one who claimed to to show the light for the for you know, and in who is the light bearer? America. You know, what is the Statue of Liberty? What is she holding? Stat Statue of Liberty, are, I'll put it out there as a depiction of Lucifer, but got, not because we're saying that she's the devil, but it's, Lucifer literally means light bearer. And so the Statue of Liberty means she's bearing a light. And, you know, you were the, at the top, and that's what they mean by heaven. So how art thou fallen from heaven, those Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Yeah, so, you know, obviously, I'm not talking about, like, devil, pointy, pointy red man with a fork dancing around naked to goat feet. Talking about who was at the top and who was being cut down and who weakened the nations with their policies, their foreign policies and, and their cajoling their um, loans to corrupt officials and their... And you should read a documentary. I think it's called The Financial Assassins or something, where they 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 talk about how America puts in agents, puts in puppet governments, and and you know the petrodollar forces everybody to use dollars. You know this fiat currency that they make up. For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the most high. So America has, um, in their minds, wanted to be like the most high. And you can see that in their science and their technology and what the things that they're trying to do, mess with genetics, you know what I mean, and control the weather, all that. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit, hell being the grave. They shall see thee. They that shall see thee shall look narrowly upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble and did shake the kingdoms? And so you know here now that they're not talking about a devil, pointy red hat, pointy being, because it says people that will look on Lucifer as he's fallen shall, um, saying, Is this the man, uh, male person, yeah? Is this the man that made the earth a tremble, that did shake the kingdoms, that made the world as a wilderness, and destroyed the cities thereof, and opened not the house of his prisoners? So never let the prisoners free, like, you know. And there's a thing where, where they say that America's been in war for, like, 
it's only missed like something like 17 days of uh, 17 years of war and it's 225 year history it's been at war with all these other nations and never opened the house of the prisoners the people that come under america and do their biddings are never set free all the kings of the nations, even all of them, lie in glory, everyone in his own house, but thou cast out thy grave like an abominable branch. So this is to come. And the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with a sword that go down to the stones of the pit as a carcass trodden under feet. So when America's done, people aren't even going to be like, OK, this was once, you know, like how the Mayan, Mayan Empire collapsed or the Persian I wouldn't say the Persian Empire's collapsed, but like the maybe Ottoman Empire's collapsed, the ancient Babylonian Empire's collapsed, and people revere it and they say, oh, yes, this was a great king. Um, back in the day, they used to do this. The Roman Empire, oh, yes, they used to do this. The ancient Greek Empire, oh, yes, they were amazing. Blah, blah, blah. But America, when it's done, when the people, is, people ain't going to try to remember it. They're going to try to say, oh, you know, the historians are going to be like, aren't going to be like, ah, uh, yeah, America was once this great city. They'd be like, yeah, well, there was just yeah, they were pretty bad. Let's not talk about them, man. And they're gonna, they're gonna like, like the like the Nazis say, for example, how they remembered. They're often remembered in very sort of negative terms. They're like, yeah, we don't like to talk about them really, and let's forget about them and blot them out of history. That's the same as how America's going to be treated. That shall not... And in, and in some ways, they do follow lots of Nazi ideology anyway. That shall not be uh, joined with them in burial because that has destroyed our land and slain thy people. The seed of evil do doers shall never be renowned. Right. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of his fathers that they, they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. So... You know, I mean, all them wicked people are going to be done away with. For I will rise up against them, says the Lord of hosts, and cut from off from Babylon the saint, the name, the remnant, and the son and nephew, saith the Lord. And um, so that means when they when he destroys America, there's going to be left no heritage, no legacy that can come back and reinherit it. I will make it a possession for the bittern. What's the bittern? It's kind of dark in it. Um. Yeah, the po a species of bird perhaps bitten from the contract. I think all of these birds now he's going to talk about are birds that feed on carcasses. They're not birds that like you know partake in um in sort of like a, an ecology, but they're birds that are they're the cleanup crew, bottom feeders. They kind of they kind of um just there for cleaning up dead places and the pools of water now will sweep it from the bus but bezom of destruction says the lord of hosts the lord of hosts has sworn saying surely as i have thought so shall it come to pass and as i have purpose so shall it so shall it stand that i will break the assyrian in my land and upon my mountains tread him underfoot and then shall his yoke depart from off them and his burden depart from off their shoulders This is the purpose, and the Assyrians, I can't remember who the Assyrians are, I need to look that up. This is the purpose that is purpose upon the whole earth, and this is the hand that is stretched out upon all nations, for the Lord of hosts has purpose, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? In the year that King Ahaz died, was his burden, was this burden. Rejoice not thou, whole Palestinian, because the rod of him that smote thee is broken, for out of the serpent's root shall come forth a cockatrice a viper and his fruit shall be a fiery flying serpent and the firstborn of the poor shall feed with shall feed and the needy shall lie down in safety and I will kill thy root with famine and he shall slay thy remnant howl O gate cry O city Thou whole Palestinian art dissolved, for there shall come from the north smoke, and there shall be and and none shall be alone in in his appointed times. What shall one then answer the messengers of the nation that the Lord hath founded Zion and the poor of his people shall trust in it? That I like to say Shalom.